Hi, this is Steve from Red, White and Blue PH. Um, I hope you like the backdrop. Uh, sunset on the Calicastan Mountains. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about a wonderful review I was asked to do on a motorcycle helmet. And I'm going to share that with you guys right now. But just enjoy the sunset behind me as it goes down as I sit here on my veranda. So the great chaps at uh, Ride Manila uh, asked me to come and uh, test one of their helmets, which I rode last night. I'd done about 260 kilometers. I was a bit apprehensive actually, because it's a helmet I've never actually used. And it also has a peak visor. So riding at speeds on a sports tour, I was thinking, am I gonna get the wind blowing my helmet upwards? Or as I look from left to right before I make a turn on the freeway, is the wind gonna grab my helmet and again and pull my head? and have a stiff neck by the end of the ride, but that wasn't the case at all. What they actually gave me to test was the NEXX. So whether it be an adventure bike or even a sports tourer, the, the helmet I actually used last night, being the NEXX, was fantastic. Um, it was a night ride. Uh, so it was made even more special by the intercom, which was installed to the helmet, which uh, kind of changed my mind about how I see certain intercoms. Uh, I mean, I was boogie in the boogie all the way down the freeways last night at the sound was absolutely terrific, but that will be another video for another day. So why don't we get into the helmet itself and uh, I'll give you a look around. So the X Villageord, N-E-X-X. -X. I'm not gonna get into the intercom system you can see below because that's for another day. And look at that, you can actually see me in the sun visor. Now that's not really good for my vlogging, but still I'll live with that. And of course the intercom mic, which is right there. Now the padding inside the helmet was extremely comfortable on my ride. A little bit of a pinch on the top of my head and that's probably my fault because I was not wearing a balaclava, which I should do. I was only wearing a scarf around my neck. So I'm going to see how that goes. Maybe the helmet might loosen up a little bit or maybe I got the wrong size. But what I do love, it's my colors, red, white, and blue. No yellow there for the pH, but still I can change that in the future. But what a absolute beautiful looking helmet. And as mentioned before, she's a modular looking like that. Now, does that look cool for a sports bike? Or does that look cool for an adventure bike? Or does that look cool for any bike? For me, this has a look of class, mate. But if you're looking for a helmet, which is a helmet for all occasions, or maybe a helmet for all bikes, everyone has their likes or what they don't like. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this. I have to say a real big thank you to the guys down there at Ride Manila. Um, they have a tremendous stock of all kinds of helmets. Um, I'm gonna be coming back and giving a further review on this helmet after I put a, maybe a thousand or 2000 kilometers on it. And so I can truly, truly test it. But first impressions is, yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, I was using the, of course, AGVs, uh, Schubert, um, Shoei. I still love those helmets, but now I think I found something which is so all rounded I can just pick it up and jump on any of my bikes. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I love what I see. I love what I've worn. And I want to bring you more about this particular product as I put some kilometers and miles on this over the coming weeks. All right, guys, stay safe. Talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.